Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. This one's very exciting because we're back talking about the official FNAF film made by Blumhouse, and I'll tell you right now, things are looking up for this movie. It's amazing. We're getting brand new info after brand new info. The best part about this brand new info is that it's good info. It's good news. It looks like this movie's finally finally making progress after like seven years of production. It's bounced from studio to studio, script to script, producer to director, it's seen everything. But with the info in today's video, it looks like we're finally gonna be getting the movie and it might be sooner than you might first suspect. So, if you're interested, hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time. And subscribing to this channel is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. So let's kick this video off by talking about the brand new behind the scenes teaser Jason Blum gave us a little bit ago on the anniversary of FNAF. But Jason Blum says it's great to be walking with the Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. And in the photo, you can see somebody designing a animatronic suit for someone to supposedly wear on set. Now, Jim Henson's Creature Shop is <laughs> absolutely insane to have on the FNAF movie. They have done some incredible productions. They are absolutely unbelievably talented with animatronics and stuff like that. They've done work with The Dark Crystal, Sesame Street, The Muppet Movie. So they really know their stuff when it comes down to animatronics and suits that people puppeteer on set. So while in this image we do see them designing a suit based around a human model, so this suit, and we definitely know it's a Freddy Fazbear suit because we can see his top hat, we can see his ears, we can even see his head in the bottom left hand corner. This particular suit may be used for someone to dress up in and act out on scene. However, like I said, Jim Henson's Creature Shop is very good at making suits that people puppeteer on set, so they could also make some of those. I'm just thankful that it doesn't seem like a lot of CGI is going to be involved since they're making actual real suits for people to, again, puppeteer or act in. But I'm interested, what do you think? Do you think they're actually going to use people in suits? Do you think they're going to do it some other way, again, with puppets or maybe with CGI? Also, you may have noticed recently, a lot of people have been saying that the film might start filming later this year in December. That was because in a now-deleted Reddit post, someone linked to an article in Production Weekly that basically listed off a whole bunch of upcoming movies, like a brand new Exorcist project and Spawn, A Quiet Place three, just a whole bunch of movies, and apparently FNAF was listed in that article with a filming time of December. It turns out, however, that's not necessarily true. What was true is that FNAF was listed in that production weekly article. For the issue of, you know, the week of August 10th, FNAF was listed alongside various other films. However, nowhere in the article did it say the film would be filming in December. Is it a likely Filming time? I'd say so. Because they're walking on props, you know, they're walking on the animatronic suits, we can assume that they have a script nailed down, because why would they be making props if they don't have a solid script? We can also most likely assume that they got another director, a brand new director, producer, stuff like that. So after the prop making phase, the next step would be filming. So while it's not confirmed it's happening in December, right? That was debunked because it didn't show up in the Production Weekly article. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty safe to say they're gonna start filming within the next couple of months, I'd say. And the reason why it was so difficult to double check whether or not the article said, you know, FNAF filming in December was because you have to pay like over 70 bucks just to look at that issue. Now, thankfully, we have legend Coda Animations on our side because he actually went out and he bought the production weekly issue for that week to see what it exactly it said about the FNAF movie. And this is what he got. I spent 75 bucks on production weekly membership so I could view the actual information. And while that production weekly thing doesn't have the actual date for shooting just yet, it's worth knowing it's most likely a big deal. FNAF has showed up there at all. Since Blumhouse projects appearing in this production weekly thing seem to follow a pretty samey schedule of showing up close to when Blumhouse nails in filming dates and whatnot. Then, 
When the film date comes and goes, it stops showing up in the issues unless additional filming is needed. Couple samples of this are shown below. And then he goes on to list a few examples. The Untitled Exorcist project first showed up in the issue in November 2021 for a November shooting date, which was shooting Burston scenes in advance due to her elderly age and COVID concerns. Then stopped showing up in the issue until July 28th, where an August 15th date for primary shooting of the film was confirmed and then the newest issue which also confirms that same date. This film will most likely disappear from the issue on the 18th of August's issue as filming will have begun at this point and there's no need to host it in the issue anymore. And wouldn't you believe it, but that's exactly what happened. Mr. Harrigan's phone, an undated film Blumhouse is making for Netflix, showed up for the first time in September 2021's issue with a late October film date, and then showed up in a October issue with the same date before disappearing again from issues following that film date, since filming had begun and there was no need to include it anymore. Here are two examples since honestly Blumhouse's stuff doesn't seem to show up in this thing too often, but it does seem to be a trend as Halloween Ends, another film by Blumhouse, also followed a pretty similar pattern of showing up with the film date of July 2022 in a December issue and hasn't shown back up since filming started and finished in March. So the same idea applies there. So basically, TLDR, FNAF showing up in Production Weekly indicates that we're getting the film date and location most likely in the next few weeks. If it keeps showing up in the issue, they're most likely just working out the final details before that becomes semi-public knowledge. Now, unfortunately, I can confirm FNAF has not showed up in the issues at all since the week of August 10th, which is where we first got this information. So while it's still unclear when exactly the film's going to be filming, thankfully, it's confirmed when the film will be released by Jason Blum. Because the other week, Jason Blum did an interview with Deadline where he talked about the upcoming Exorcist remake and other movies they have planned with the studio. But what we're interested in is this question in particular. Deadline saying, what are you most excited about from the Blumhouse slate coming out in the next year? Jason Blum replied with, I'm very excited about Spawn. I'm very excited about Five Nights at Freddy's, which has been a long time coming, but we're getting very close. As I tweeted the other day, dangerously close. And then we have the three originals that we're working on, which haven't been announced yet, but they're all gonna go into production within the next 12 months. So this confirms that we are definitely 100% getting the FNAF movie, I'd say next year. Obviously, their question includes the end of this year, but because we haven't gotten anything on filming, no teaser, no trailer, nothing like that, I definitely don't think it's coming out this year, so 2023 included in their comment and also just common sense, we're getting it that year. Which is a big, big relief after again waiting seven years for this movie, it's finally has it finally has a confirmed release date of next year. Hopefully, things go right this time, and it's not delayed again and again and again, but thankfully it seems like they're working on props, so I, I looks like everyone's happy with the script, looks like everything's moving along smoothly. Jason Blum being very optimistic with the release dates, being very optimistic uh, with the people behind the scenes making the film. This could be it. We might actually be in the final stretch this time. But at the end of the day, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.